Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African League and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial on Canva. Before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime I play new videos. So, you know, I'm already in Canva and this is what I want to say. Um, we are going to, this tutorial might be a bit lengthy because we are really going to do something different no other person has done on Canva. I don't know. But yeah, yeah, since I'm making this video, yeah, it's, uh, maybe no one. <laughs> so we are going to design a logo and present them and create mockups, okay? And we wouldn't go really, 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 really into details, but you get me, you know, at 2 a.m., who would be making this kind of video? So let's just dive straight in. I want to create a logo, some sort of like a brain logo, okay, in Canva and i'll just be using shapes okay and this is just to give you an idea of how you can also use shapes to create a logo okay only if it fits whatever you want to do so the name of whatever i'm going to create is called um brainer okay so let's say there's a company called brainer.co brainer.co or something like that okay this is the word i'm not searching for it but i just want you to know the word so i just want to create something like a brain so i'm here and searching for photos of the brain just to you know to see how we can go about it so that's how the brain looks like and i'm going to create something similar even though it may not be 100 percent like you know it wouldn't be like i use photoshop or something just just by the way so let's dive into canva so the first thing i'll do is i'll come to um all designs oh you know can I also change the user interface so sometimes i get confused so create design custom and i'll go by um 300 300 by 300 okay and create design so since it's sort of like a brain logo kind of thing it's actually you know we are going to create it so i'll just go in for my shapes and i'll pull in one shape and um you know before you design the logo you should also know the companies whoever you are designing the logo for you know you should know the person's colors and all of that but for the sake of this tutorial i'll just use a blue okay a normal blue or something like that okay so i think something like this is fine just in case you want to know the hex code is zero zero six six f f mm. yeah so that's what i'm going to do okay then i'll increase it a little bit okay ctrl c ctrl v and i'll bring this next to it okay oh uh, i'm moving my mouse but it's not moving <laughs> then what i can do is i can come to um this one Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and move it here. Okay, so I'm just going to create four. Uh, how do you call it? Okay, so this. Then I can reduce the size of this to something like this, something like this, and also reduce this, you know, and this. Okay. Then I think what we can do is we can actually reduce the size of this one and control C control V I move it here to something like like this okay then I can even this always is looking like a logo but anyway that's not what we are looking for now you use this one to something like here this one to something like here and here okay so then what I can do is I'll just bring this one closer shift uh click oh no so i'll click and come here also oh, let me just select both okay and i'll just take them closer and maybe for the sake of this let me just delete this too and i'd rather ctrl c ctrl v rotate 180 degrees 
and move it just here okay so I'm just going to keep it somewhere like here oh this is too uh, what is happening anyway I think it's because of this okay so then I can come to this one and I just move it closer okay so no because the brain let me just okay because you know this side is bigger so let's see there's a square here and uh, a second one somewhere here like this okay and a third one like a smaller one that's the whole idea of uh the logo okay so that's my idea and since it's divided into two that's why i'm also trying to leave the space so that we can see that you know that's the space in between yeah so that's the main idea and what i can do is select all and group okay and the main thing is we are trying to create uh, a logo that you know anyone who sees this logo can just say okay fine so this is some sort of like a brain logo and it gives you an idea of what the company is also about okay or it's it has something linked to the company so i'll add my text so you can just press t on your keyboard for text and i'll name this to brainer dot co now sometimes it's, it's good to have it in caps so b r a i n e r dot c o oh no dot c o and with the text i would want to go for montserrat classic okay i think that's what suits this so this is what we have okay so sometimes it's now it's also good to do this to give the color codes of the design so you can just keep it somewhere this, this snapping thing makes it difficult sometimes i don't know why okay so i can keep this um like this and i can just also have the color code written so control c control v just to you know um make it clear that hey this is the color code that you so that just in case you're working any design or something like that you know they can be able to stay consistent with the colors okay that's the main deal and i made a post recently on instagram okay on color code so maybe you can check it out if you have time oh no okay so something like this is looking cute okay then the next thing that i can do is i would um duplicate okay and maybe i'll just um you know change colors just to ensure that it can be inverted okay and i'll keep the background to um, the blue no the background let me just do this again so i'll select all of this keep it white i'm already yawning <laughs> and come here and keep this blue okay just to show that you can also invert okay with the colors and i'll come here select the white come into the color codes Control c and once you have or Control v so it tells us there's a color code we use and uh, one interesting thing you can also do is you can go on on splash if you don't mind and you can search for a photo that would suit the that suits the company okay so maybe since the company is brainer and they create templates and all of that we have to look for something that has to do with technology okay so a photo just to show what the company is about you know and it should you know it should just be able to create the meaning to create the meaning but it should give you an idea you, you know even if no one tells you what the company is about you should know once you see it so i think something like this looks cute but let's still scroll and see if we we'll get something better there are a lot of images but you know maybe let's stay on them let's see Okay, this one also looks cute because with the hands and stuff so maybe i'll download this image right here 
and it's downloaded so i'll go into my brainer and i'll make another copy keep this drag this here first of all okay and just let me know if you want me to create um a design or a tutorial on car cells okay so double click and align no it may not make sense but just pardon me or this tutorial may not make sense to you but i believe it can still help you okay so something like this in no i think i don't like this picture no it's not working I wish I could hear which one you wanted me to use, but maybe no, I've used okay. This one also looks cute, so let me rather um, download this image. It's downloaded, drag into it, and we'll just switch to see. Okay, I think this one looks much better, so I'll keep this down here because it's all about typing so i think this looks beautiful okay so the next thing we are going to do is we created the logo and i'm trying to beat time you know because <laughs> i like to mess around and uh, okay so just tell me what you think about this so you mean you can even present this to the client but you are not complete okay and one thing is we are using canva and uh, you know when you create a logo it's good to present various um various formats okay so we have png jpeg and all of that and if you're on canva pro you'd be able to present in jpeg and remove the background but if you're not on canva pro then i can suggest um you remove the background the white background but window may not be the best but it can still help you know yeah so we've created this and another interesting way to give meaning to your logo is creating a mock-up a mock-up is just um you know mock-up would help the client to understand how the logo can be used or how the logo is going to look like in the real world okay and interestingly canva has come up with this um smart mockups okay so what you have to do is you just come to the download the drop down button over here then you see smart mockups so you can select it and it would ask you which of these ones you want to use but i'll go with the page one okay and save then it will prepare our design and it's telling us that the crazy people who are you can continue yeah so what we are going to do is we can yeah we'll just have to click on view and smart mock-ups you know yeah yeah and it's loading and we have the premium and the free free b or however it's called yeah but uh, you can there are free ones and there are premium ones so that depends on you you know i think there's so many beautiful mock-ups over here but it's looking raw with the logo just the logo so what i'll do is i'll just close this up come back here and i'd rather use this one okay to so download smart mockups page three save and it's loading so design is a plan for arranging elements in the way that accomplishes something 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 ah, yeah so it's loading and i think this would look more attractive Oh, I don't like a mobile one. And with this one, just in case you create a mobile, um, you know, a design with the mobile v um, dimensions, okay, which is, uh, is it 1080 by 1920? Yeah, 1080 by 1920 is the mobile phone thing. So once you create a design with that, you can just have the mockup done there. So I think this is looking, be oh, wow. I like this one too. Let me just open in this. Wow too nice look at the pillow oh i'm loving this so much you know <laughs> and uh, there are so many ones you can so we have the t-shirt sweatshirt hoodies and maybe the company has uh you know a lot of teens like teenagers as their employees and 
you can also go with mockups like that so with this i think you can even go with just the plain logo for these mockups you know yeah i think it's fine you know these ones are also free so you can even use them for your design and i believe they would help so much and there are tanks their hoodies blah 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 but you know i'm not here to this thing but this is looking so beautiful so the only thing you can do is just to you can customize the scene background you can use an, a picture you know but no i i like this okay so this gradient is beautiful and uh, you can use pictures also you know if you don't mind so i'll download this and for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to download the medium with um res okay i'm not looking for high res at the moment and i can also come here since i'm done i'll just close this and i would search for another one which is let's check um frames outdoor let's check outdoor and see oh wow this is beautiful this one is also beautiful wow i'm so glad we are doing this oh wow this is also nice i'm just loving this so much i'm just loving this so much so i'll just go with this okay and once you are oh i almost <laughs> i almost threw my table away okay so once you're creating yours you can feel free to use any of these okay so for the sake of this tutorial again i'm just going to go with this yeah and i'd want to see whatever you come up with you know i'd love to see anything you come up with so one last thing i would suggest we do is that um you'd come back and create okay so recommended for you oh there's one thing i love to do i just come back and i create um 1920 by 1080 okay i have a full view of all of these things so i'll just come here download and i'll download all three of them okay and it's just going straight into my folder uh no okay so i'm just downloading i think it's done so what i'll do is i'm trying to okay i know you can't see whatever i'm doing but all i'm just doing is okay, let me just pull it here i know there's still nothing you can see so brainer okay and this is what we have so i'll go into this and i'll come here select all drag it okay so i'll just import all my logos here and i'm just going to arrange everything nicely on one uh how do you call it i don't know what to call it but you understand me okay so i'll just leave this also like this and we have the third one which we can keep maybe somewhere like uh somewhere like here okay and i can make this huge a little bit okay so something like this and yeah this one can also be somewhere like here okay okay so i just move this up a little bit okay so we have something like this and we created some mockups so we'd import our mockups also okay and we can pull this here and then maybe what we can do is just keep it something like this okay yeah, because we're also trying to maximize our space and i'll keep this also here keep this also here but this is just for our presentation sake okay and it has to come with a meaning so that we be able to present this very well so maybe what we could even do was it would come um would come you know, if i want to be consistent or something like that we can uh 
I'm just trying to think. So we can even just go with um just billboards. Do you get it? We can just go with billboards so that we may create a better meaning or we can just go with you know something that has to do with the same should i say topic or like trying to say the same thing so if it's billboard we just this fetch a lot of these billboards over here okay so maybe i can go with this one download you know okay then maybe i can also come here and i want to use the blue one also okay so maybe i would um okay i'm thinking of what i can do so let's you know i wanted to end this tutorial right now but let me just come here and uh okay so i just want to use a better okay a white one also okay so let me just go with this because really is like cold and stuff so i'll just use this and i'll come back and i would import come into the okay so add a new page okay so something like this and we would fetch the white one okay so control c oh no control c control c <laughs> and control v and i'll just minimize this a little bit and i'll put this somewhere here what i can do is i can just filter So no. Okay, so something like I don't know if it's looking beautiful, but you know, like I'm just trying to explain how you can go about it, even though it may not be perfect. But you know, just take your time when you're doing yours. Okay, I just don't want to spend so much time. It's already 22 minutes, and uh, yeah. So this is what we are trying to do. Okay. So we can just come here and um smart mockups um page four save then it will just take us here so i can okay i downloaded this already no i didn't or did i i can't remember i'll just close okay to view in smart mockups yeah so this is loading okay well i was like so far we are getting some interesting designs if this looks cool what do you say this looks beautiful so for the it, it doesn't look sharp but you know like i'm saying for the sake of this tutorial we can just stick to this okay and uh, so you come back here and uh, you know so we can create several mockups okay something like this so just tell me once you present this if you do not earn more than like more than a thousand dollars then i don't know because this is a full project i have just made and i just hope you understood it and you found value in this if you want more tutorials like this or you are looking for more tutorials like this make sure to subscribe to this channel like you can speak to me on my instagram i'll be glad to hear from you i'll be glad to know what you think what you want me to come up with and you know once you let me know i'll be just be i'll be so glad to you know like i'm so excited that's why i don't even know what to say so the name is benjamin and i hope i finished talking about everything no oh no 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 yeah so these are the main things we've created so we've created a logo we presented them in various forms and we have created we also created some mock-ups and uh, yeah it's looking cool i like it and i hope you like it too so the name is benjamin and i'll see you i'll see you but remember no limit to creativity so enjoy your day and i'll see you in my next video